So during our research and experiment on the HP Corporation and the organizational behavior within the corporation and within the employees, we decided for the sake of the experiment to divide the corporate level employees and the in-store employees into one into two different groups. And within those groups, the division of leadership is the executive leadership, such as the uh, the executives, are the managers and the upper level to the corporate, and then the managers in store are the upper level to the in store employees. Um, we did find a few issues within their corporation for the organizational behavior aspects. Some were in the innovation aspect that advancing technology was starting to take jobs in store and at the corporate level some, but mostly in store. Um, other problems had to do with employees feeling like promotions and upward advancement within the company was not realistic and not possible and they don't make you feel like you can advance. Um, for example, in-store employees movement within the store might be possible, but hopes of being at the corporate level one day seemed unrealistic. Um, the main problem that we're focusing on is the fact that employees in both groups felt overworked. Um, at the corporate level and at the in-store level um, in different ways. At the corporate level, one of the solutions to this problem that we had because of the way that employees felt overworked was the company hiring additional help and assistance to those corporate employees that feel like their daily workload is not possible for them to finish. Therefore, they're staying extra hours. They're coming in on their off days. They're not ever using their vacation, and it goes on. Um, all those would cost the company more money. To hire these assistants, it would be a greater, it would be worth it with the opportunity cost because these corporate employees are thought of as the company's backbone. And so the more comfortable and less stressed they feel, the better that they can perform and help the company grow as a whole. Um, the next solution was more for the in-store level. Um, the way the schedule is made now, the managers come out with the schedule on Friday before the next week, which is a two-day window for some one day to figure out their schedule for the next week and how they're going to be able to get to those work days if they needed a day off, and it goes on. And they have one day to figure out if the schedule matches up with their schedule. Um, if they reworked the schedule so that the schedule came out five days in advance, these five days would give those employees the five days they need to make sure that they don't have any other obligations or last minute things the next week. The final solution we focused on, which is the recommendation we have for HEB, is that the corporation creates a reward system uh, for the in-store employees. And this reward system would include that when employees work a certain number of hours, and these hours would determine would be determined by the managers and the corporate level where they feel fit. But when employees are hitting these hours, they can choose a reward from a, an array of awards. These rewards can range from a bonus to a paid day off to a vacation day or a special trip. But that way, employees that feel overworked and feel like their hours are not being compensated, they now feel like they're working towards something bigger. Um, in most cases, what ends up happening is the employees work the same amount of hours as they were before, possibly even more. But they no longer feel like these are overworking hours. They now feel like these hours are going towards something bigger and that it is being compensated and that their work is being valued and seen and they have something bigger to go towards.